Well, some of the best swimmers on the planet are from right here on the first coast. And while swimming is a sport that can lead someone to the top of the medal stand, it's also an activity enjoyed by millions of kids. Rich Johnley is on your side tonight with a story about a woman in Jacksonville who's made it her mission to teach kids to swim because of the intersection of Olympic dreams and tragedy within her own life. Sometimes I get 30, 40, 50 phone calls a day and I just love it. It's a typical Saturday morning at the Johnson Family YMCA in Northwest Jackson. And a typical day means the pool is filled with kids learning how to swim. All thanks to Joyce DeLifus. Every day I come up here on this deck, every time I see these children, I just light up. DeLifus is the founder of the Sean D. DeLifus Foundation, a nonprofit focused on teaching people how to swim. An organization that traces its roots back eight years ago following the sudden and tragic passing of her son, Sean. It was a very tough grieving process, so I had to find something that kept me going, that kept me alive, and that kept me happy. Sean DeLifus was a swimming instructor, and shortly after his death, a memorial service was held for him at the Y in the summer of 2016. Joyce says it was attended by two young men she'd never met before. Ryan Murphy, and Caleb Dressel, I had never heard of them before. They came here to the Y after the funeral when we were having lunch, and both of them came up to me and told me, Mr. Lifeless, Coach Sean got us to the Olympics. Caleb Dressel is leaving no doubt about it again. In the months after meeting Murphy and Dressel for the first time, Joyce DeLifus was reunited with the now Olympic gold medalist. His mom said it to me, if it had not been for your son, my son would have never gone to the Olympics. That was the moment that I started the foundation. The foundation does more than just teach kids and adults how to swim. It also financially sponsors teenagers to go through lifeguard training to be able to earn a job. All part of the goal of the foundation, created by a woman who was a social worker in Jacksonville for more than 30 years, grieving the loss of her son. It just lights a fire under me and so this has become not just a swimming program, but a ministry to keep children alive. They're not my biological children, but when they come to the pool, they all belong to me.